Ren, who does not have his flash ready to go just yet. But he can still get back away in time. Oh, but he walks back into the trash line. Man, that was terrible, buddy. Oh, no. His, his question mark. Make it so that C9's not able to at least get the prize. And honestly, TSM's doing a good job camping this. Yeah, it's not worth dying for, but everybody's here now. Okay, they immediately engage. Cloud9 wants to go after Maple. They found a lot of burst very quickly. Sven grabs the kill, and they aren't done yet. Chime's going to be knocked backwards. Remember, he already spent his flash bottom side making the previous play. And now he's blabber food. Boogie's the next target. Trying to find some way out of here. Flashes over the wall. Oh, Flash follow. The man knows no fear. And C9 just got three <laughs> kills off of TSM. And into what we want. Okay, oh, hold on. Oh. We might not have the opportunity. Blabber wants to shift Chime away from life and into his pocket. Never mind the money's over to Berserker. Team player Rengar. Honestly, he is. This is LeBlanc. Has to back up, had to use the flash. 50 HP remaining, Arrow flies down mid, seeing if maybe they can catch him in a greedy recall. Maple's okay. wise to that. <laughs> okay, okay. Nine more, uh, Tabber jump. Well, Blabber decides to jump in <laughs> anyway. Maple's ready to go. <laughs> TSM's ready to go. That and Blabber just uh, that's some Rengar brain right there. Yet is when TSM has Maple on Talia, my eyes are on him to be the one who can set up some moments for TSM to get wins. Because as long as Cloud9 are able to find picks like this, life is going to remain top for Team Solo mid. Chime has to flash back over the wall. Boogie lands from the rappel, and Sven's got the volley. Chime's the target here again, and Blabber's picking up another kill. Rengar keeps eating up, baby. Active's controlled. Yeah. It's a pretty slow game for the Drakes. You're not going to see any sort of early soul, even though Cloud9 have both of them so far. It's still just about 18 minutes into the game, so it's not... Who has flash and barrier, so shouldn't shouldn't be too worried. C9's ready to counterattack. They go right in after Chime. Blabber's gonna lead the charge, but Blabber dies <laughs> first. TSM turn it around. This might be exactly what they need. m &S, they're going all out. They take him down. And Solo's in the middle of everybody maintaining the aggro. He'll find the Q3 on Fudge, but now he's gonna back away. Berserker grabs the kill, and C9's fighting back. Fudge gets the knock up onto the TSM jungler as Neo tries to fight it out with Sven and Berserker. Maple jumps right back in on the Weaver's wall, puts Sven on the wrong side of the Rip. Fudge gets the kill on Boogie, but again, it's bodies hitting the ground on both sides. Starting it out, uh, I, I think Cloud9 kind of brushing off some of these, some of these int moments, some of these deaths, but you can't do too many more of those versus CSM. Top lane all the way back in their base. I believe it was just about to expire, so Blabber just had to drop it. Use it or lose it. It does end up walking all the way down top lane, nearly taking out the tier one turret, but not quite enough damage. Just now finished it up up there in that top half of the map. He just he wants somebody that's not named Solo. Nice use of the repel there to get away from the arrow by Boogie. But now he's gotta be careful because there's no other way out. He just gets deleted. It's Berserker grabbing the kill. And now with Solo picked up too. There's your last bone tooth necklace charm. There's the last bit of the... Not a whole lot, not enough just yet. Baron's down to 2K. C9 trying to burn it. MS's clone is low, but that's about it. The Baron's at 800, secured by C9. But what about the rest of the fight? Fudge goes on a killing spree and Chime goes down. Fudge still looking to pick up a little bit more here as Solo joins in. And Blabber picks one up, but trades his life for Maple. MS jumps back over the wall. C9 has only lost. Low, though, it is definitely risky with MS being so strong, poking around. If he sees that back line, they're oh, dead! Yeah! That's all it takes. The flash for the distortion cast to guarantee it. Him and S, he gets another one. He's just making fools out of them. Arrow comes around as Sven and Berserker can reinforce their mid laner. Him and S just danced on their graves. I was watching yesterday. And they're able to jump down uh, Maple as well, so Blabber can kind of jump to him and get that that trade kill, evening up the numbers. But now we're now we're living in the present with Baron up Cloud9 coming to finish the job. Never is not being stopped by anybody back in mid. Arrow flies out, not going to hit a target. MS just trying to constantly make them sweat, make them not recall in any sort of an efficient manner. I think, I think the coolest play, even though he got a bunch of kills doing the other one, was his initial sneaky wraparound move, bringing the control ward to behind the red buff that allowed Solo to teleport when he was right here. 
that opened up everything for Cloud9 and really just blows the game open. Blabber gonna have to flash his way out after they get mid inhibitor, while the rest of the team takes bottom inhibitor, but yeah, that was a key play. Well, you've got Maple stunned up on the front line. If they blow up to Leah, I don't think there's a whole lot of hope left for TSM. They get a shutdown back onto MS, but I don't think it'll matter a whole lot. Solo is just gunned down, trying to defend the Nexus turrets. Neo's the oh. only one left alive. Yeah, he's gonna get a kill on Fudge, but Blabber just jumps out of the shadows and tears him to pieces. 23 to nine, 26 minutes into the game. Cloud9 bounces back and takes down TSM.